Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films, and I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today's video from the Ravens Broncos games is Dimes Delivered. Last week we did a video on Dimes Undelivered, but the drops and whatnot that took a uh, place in the Ravens and Lions game. Well, those dimes were delivered today, postage, mailed, UPS, all that, put a stamp on it. But before we get started, today's stream is brought to you by Manscaped. Roll the intro. Support for Ravens Roundup is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-waist grooming champions of the world. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Manscaped just launched their fourth-generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0. Yeah, you heard that right, 4.0. Join over 2 million men worldwide who trust the Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code SIP to tally at manscaped.com. Imagine shaving with a sleek, well-designed, and optimized trimmer that makes shaving time your favorite time in the bathroom. I'm one of the first people to try the new 4.0, and I'm blown away by the performance. The craftsmanship, the details on the 4.0 are next level. I know there's been a time when you've been shaving and trying to get the perfect shave, get a clean shave, and you just accidentally nick those balls and probably freak out. Well, you're not the only one. We've all been there, and with the 4.0, nick balls are a thing of the past. Manscaped has engineered the ultimate growing and body trimmer. By focusing on intelligent functionality and an incredible, comfortable grooming experience, their fourth-generation trimmer features a cutting-edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin-safe technology. Now I feel confident about shaving my boys. This upgraded trimmer includes a multifunction on and off switch that can engage in a travel lock so you don't have to be embarrassed by your luggage vibrating at the baggage claim. It also gives you the ability to turn the 4000K LED spotlight on and off when needed for a more precise shave. The Lomo 4.0 even allows you to customize your trim through additional guard lengths with sizes 1 through 4. You can have the ball look or you can get the number 1 from the barber chart, but downstairs. Did I mention wireless charging? The new wireless charging system uses electromagnetic induction, which can help the battery length last longer. So when you and their significant other on that one to two week vacation, you can keep those balls clean and ready for action. Man, if you've been shaving with the same nut trim on your face, you've been doing it wrong. No person wants to end up with pubes in their mouth. Yuck. And don't have a roommate that's been stealing your nut trimmer. Now you got his pubes in your mouth. Ugh. It's time to get your own ball hair and body trimmer with Manscaped. To make me time, the best time. And enhance your confidence with some nice, smooth boys. So get 20% off plus free shipping with code SIP to tally. Your balls and your significant other will thank you. So click that link in the bio to get 20% off and free shipping with code SIP to tally at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code SIP to tally. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. So welcome back to the stream. Uh, this, if this is your first time here, hit the like button. Uh, Comment if you see something you want to talk about. If you agree or disagree with what I'm talking about, drop that down below. And uh, if you like the content, subscribe. Uh, hit the subscribe button, then go click that bell so you can be notified when I drop these random videos. But um, again, last week's video was called Dimes Undelivered. Uh, this one is Dimes Delivered because Lamar threw for over 300 yards, especially against the Broncos defense that kind of stacked the box. If you look at that steel shot that's up there now, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight guys in the box right there. But uh, Lamar proved haters wrong again and dropped dimes. And let, let's get into it. Pick five plays from it and uh, let's go from there. If you're new to the channel, we're going to let it play. See what happens. Then we'll come back and talk about it. You get play action. You got a little, uh, post route or a glance by um, Sammy. So let's, let's bag it on up. I'm going to get some kind of play action by Lamar. And I think this is Murray. You're going to get Sammy running this route. And he's not just going to run the the like the glance of the post I, I got drawn on the screen. He's going to push that thing wide. He's going to widen this dude out to give himself more room for when he do stick it in there. He'll have separation between this guy and this guy. So let's just watch Sammy first. Keep your eyes on Sammy. See, he's running wide just to give himself some more room. Give himself some more room and create more separation. He running wide and he's going to stick that thing right on the inside. He working the leverage. 
He's just working his leverage. Working his leverage. Now he got more room to work with. Let's look at Lamar. And we'll be able to see Lamar's um, accuracy and footwork and stuff better from the back view. On the center. Got the play action. Your feet up under you. Oh, that's so easy. That's easy money. Time is great. Get the play fake. Set your feet. Rock. Release. Accurate. Pinpoint accuracy. Over this linebacker that's trying to get it. In between, over that linebacker that's jumping. Out of the reach of this, this safety type dude. And in front of the, the receiver enough to where this safety back here. A cornerback can't affect it. That's throwing in traffic. That's what you know. A lot of people say he can't do. Deal with ease right there. Just flip it, flick of the wrist. Just a flick of the wrist. At great accuracy. Hold on. Did this dude hit this ball? Uh, kind of like he hit that. I wonder if he hit this ball. Because the traje trajectory kind of went, went a little different. Like he may have got a finger on it. But even if he did, the, the spiral's tight enough to to keep going where it's supposed to go. Let's go to play two. Let's see what we got. Play action again. Got the deep over route by Mandrews. So this is this is a route that him and Andrews they 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 fairly good at this one. They fairly good at this route. Andrews is gonna try to work inside of that dude, press the leverage of this guy, and then just push it all across the field. And with him doing that, there gotta be somebody doing that. And so it's probably a double post type deal. And we talked about double post um on a previous video. So I think that's what this is. I didn't look at all the routes. Let's see. Play action. Yeah, you got two posts. Well, you got a post and a go. Prochet's running this go down here. I think this Prochet. And I think this is Duvernay running this little, um, work in the middle of the field running this post. And so they basically clearing it out for Andrews to, to come across. And look at all the space he got to work with. All the space to work with. Lamar just got to put it in a catchable, catchable zone. So he kind of back shoulders it a little bit. But Andrews um, adjusts and go get it. Andrews adjust and go get it. Let's look at Lamar footwork. Now a little play action to hold hold the linebackers. So that play action helped fool him. Well, not fooled him, but held him and held him. And now Andrews is up on, I want to say this is Simmons right now. So at this point, all he want to do is just try to run away from Simmons. But he's still covered. Lamar trusts him enough to throw him a nice ball. Andrews high points it. But I ain't going to say he don't high point it, but he adjusts to it better than Simmons does. Because technically, if you, I don't know if you can see it. You can't see it because it's behind me. Let me see if I can move myself. I can't move myself. Let me see. Yeah, I can. I uh, did it wrong again. Hold on. Bear with me. Oh, well, forget it. <laughs> forget it. But behind me. Andrews is still covered. He's still covered. Now as you see them uncover, he's still like he covered because Simmons is here. Andrews is right there. Lamar puts enough air on it, has enough confidence that Andrews will make a play. Dime delivered. Dime delivered. Trust this part of it. Trust this part of it. And he trusts his guy to go up and get it. And put it in a spot where it was been hard for the defender to, to defend it. Stat. Let's go to the next one. Play three. Uh, let's see what we got on play three. 
Hollywood. It's the one in Hollywood. Okay. It's the one in Hollywood. The 49 yarder. That boy laid out for that thing. That's the thing of beauty right there. Thing of beauty. The good part about it is, watch the route. I said watch the route when Sammy went in there and I watched the route with, with Hollywood right here. This is this is uh dub. Dub and T Martin. Watch how Hollywood explode and try to close this cushion. Yeah, I mean he cutting off the ball, he running. Then he gonna get to a point where he gonna give him a eh, eh, there. This dude gonna open his hips and his lights out. Cause he just all he doing is head and shoulder him here and maybe a jab step and gonna shoot that thing right back across his face. And when he does that, this D B is in old snap land and not snap. Like a regular. Here you go. Eh. Just that one little step. He ran right past him. The other safety, I don't know what he was looking at. But that one little, he stuck him. Oh, I went too far. He'd come right here. Boom. Push him outside. Turn the safety all the way around. Hit the middle of the field. At still at top speed. Still at top speed. And now it's just Lamar putting it out there where he can go get it. Great effort. Great effort. He laid out for that thing. Great effort. Great effort. Let's see, I think I got a back shot of this one. Yeah, I do. Look at Lamar now. No play action straight drop back. Pocket presence. Got happy feet, but still in the pocket. Still in the pocket. So felt the little pressure coming, so I'm going to step away from it. Let my guy get downfield because I know where I really want to go with it. So I'm, I really think Hollywood was number one the whole way because I don't see him, his eyes come off to go to anybody else. Moving in the pocket. Staying, staying still ready to throw. With each little new you know, jab back and forth, he's still in a good throwing posture because he can throw from there. He can throw from there. He can throw from there. Now he decides to throw. Great job out of O-line. And that's a, that should be. Look at look at it. Why we don't call this? Why, why is that not why is not why is that not unnecessary roughness? Personal foul uh, roughing the passer. Why is that not that? Ball gone. One, two. You don't supposed to get but one step. That's two. You don't supposed to get but one step. And it's below, you know, in the below the uh, waist. You don't play the, you don't supposed to hit the quarterback low. Why my guy can't get can't get them calls? We know why. Play play four. Uh, I don't remember who this two either. Got a uh, play fake, pump fake, dot. Mm, if he could have made him miss, he could have made him miss. So Hollywood got. Let's see what kind of route Hollywood got. Cause he pump faked everybody. I think Andrews. Oh, who's this coming across the middle? That's Sammy, maybe. This is Sammy here. Hollywood's right here. So let's let's just see what the route combo. Play faking the uh, outside zone. Mark running the out. Sammy running a little dig. So I don't know if that pump fake is to. Is to Sammy or the Mark? Can't really tell. I think it's the Mark. I think he pump faked the Mark because he saw this guy stop and sit under the out route. I think that's what he did. I don't think he's looking at, at, at Sammy. But then once they do that and they all, you know, converge on Mark and Sammy, because this dude is really going to open it up. He's going to come downhill. Hollywood's going to sit right in there. But what I love about Hollywood is, even though Lamar's throwing him this ball, he comes back to it. So this guy can't, can't intercept it or even get his hand on it to knock it down. If he don't come back to this ball, this guy can intercept it or knock it down. And he comes back to it. That makes that guy miss completely. Now, if he can just make this guy miss one-on-one. -on -one. And I think, you know, and, and I don't, I'm not out there, but I think if he just turn on the afterburners and just try to outrun this guy, he got a better chance of stopping and, going, stopping and starting. But this, that's after this hindsight. It's after the fact. I want to see the accuracy on this throw, though. Boom, boom. Ready to throw. Ah, see that man out there. Yeah, so that's what it was. He was about to throw to to, to Mark, and he saw that, that cover two corner sit down in there. So he kept the ball. Luckily, he kept the ball. 
Now his eyes come to Hollywood, get his hips around, throws a bullet. I remember at one point we was complaining because Lamar wasn't throwing spirals in practice. I remember that. I remember those times. I remember those times. All right, let's go to play five, which is this is the final play. And this play right here, this throw right here, is what some say is the the NFL throw. When you throw from one hash to the other sideline. On time. On time so much that Dubin didn't have the time to catch it and size up the defender and maybe get up the field. Dubin in motion, going to run the lift flat out. Right there. Mm. Check out Lamar's footwork. Look at that drill shot. Drill shot. Let play action. Eyes down the field. Open his hips to his target. Shoulders pointed at the target. Drives it. Tweet. Dark. So much that he can stop and try to find some work. But they say the guy can't throw. Everybody. They say he's a running back. He can't throw. Can't can't get um, three hundred yards passing with him. Lies, all lies, all all the narrative that we as Ravens fans don't believe. Uh, he just went out and showed us today because the the Baltimore not the Baltimore the Denver Broncos definitely took the run away with all those guys in the um, box. But again, if this is your first time here, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you subscribe, hit the bell so you can be notified when these drop randomly. And uh, I appreciate you guys for being here. And if you was at the watch party, you. Witness the first sponsored stream. And again, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Trust me. Your balls would thank you. You could have been anywhere in the world. But you chose to be here with me. Coach Evans out. Peace.